Yes, welcome to the ball again. You're very fat. No, no, at all. No, I'm ready to do his homework. No, no, you're very fat. <laughs> like my, my new jacket. Have you ever seen that on the radio that I made people just turn up and do their research when they're right there and then? No. No, no, I, I, do, no I don't like that. Do you know what? I do you know that, know what I mean? People, people rush to watch us, mate. No, 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 I would hey, actually go hey. as far as saying, see if you have no Maybe he was a problem for you, open goal, open broom hole. This guy. <laughs> no, you see why. That's what he does with Saturday with the opposition, mate. He's like, oh, by the way, do you know turn it do that? Five to three. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, You're on a Tuesday because you've done your work. Well, exactly. No, what, what, I would actually go as far as saying, see if you have no watch the games. State fucking house. Stay in the house. State house. Stay in the house. I would say stay in the fucking house because it's disrespectful to your, your workmates and it's also disrespectful to the amount of viewers who are working 95 to come in and watch it. But si, you obviously you know I've been non stop recently. Damn I'm what? Busy, you know what I've been doing. Always busy, aren't you? Oh, busy, busy boy. Here's just like the new. Yeah, he's worn that every day since he's had it. I'm going to wear it every day at the end of the season and have a different thing underneath it. Can I tell you something? You'll, you'll, proud, you'll be really proud of me. This. Done a shite in John Lewis yesterday. Oh, good, good, really good. good spot for a shite John Lewis. Great spot. But the only issue I would say is I had, I didn't look for a telly, right? Didn't look for a telly, but I could feel the whole stomach going. I went, I don't want to let that um, affect, your affect my vision. No, affect my vision with telly I want. So I'm going into a shite in John Lewis, Kev. Am I putting you to sleep? No, no, well, I'm just, I'm just, uh, <laughs> that I saw you last so, week, uh, Oh, how'd it go? I'm Never mind that, I thought, oh, oh here, I saw coming at that. I've done a shite in the telly. I've done a shite. But the problem is, I went into one of the cubicles, but there's a guy also doing a shite in the cubicle beside me. But the two is Kenny, have the, with no, with no move. Do you know what I come out of you? You didn't want to make a noise for two minutes. Uh, uh, that's the worst thing. <laughs> so, I flush the toilet when I'm going to... Yeah, uh -huh. that's what I've done. So I've flushed it as I've let the shite go. <laughs> uh -huh. But as I've done that, the boy's fucked right out the door. He's, so I don't know if he's wiped his ass, that boy. <laughs> <laughs> so right, oh, you caught up. me down at the other Monday, didn't you? Up in, Did you? Up in Princess Square, my usual over. spot. I said two spots or McDonald's, if you're ever No, never McDonald's. No. That was piss out of the seat. So that was, that was, so I knew you'd be proud of me for that one. So <laughs> How's your eyes? Good start of the show anyway, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no, sitting here like, well, man, well, man. we're here to talk football, serious <laughs> stuff about what's just happened, what's up and coming as well. And we're talking about people doing shite. Where'd you go for so, it? Have you done it to go in the town? Because there's nah, no spots. I'll just, just, just in the motor. How's your eyes, big man? That's good, are you getting better? Think, just bloody. Are you bloody, mate? That's what was wrong with all the ears. <laughs> just join my big partner for the B team, right? Like, right I'm that night, Fucking so we did. I got your Scotland cap that night. Oh, <laughs> mate, by the way, enjoy what else is going on. Do you know what he's not? Do you know what's not in the memory, mate? 25 quid. Text today, can you stick 25 quid in the account for the wee man's Don't fees? mind that. I, no, don't. I just, I just, I said, mate, I said, I'm struggling in the world. I'm struggling to heat the house and he's pestering us for 25 quid for the I'm just, kids' fit moment. No, my point is, is that, that we run the team at a minimum, right? Bills come in to pay the, the, the stuff. Some parents are not paying on time every month. Some t some guys are two and three months behind. Come on, I, I take the time to make the effort with your kids. Just take the time to pay, pay your dues. It's no ask, no ask. Shouldn't you need to ask? Shouldn't you ask? Can you break down what the twenty five quid gets you, please? I'll tell you what it gets you. Twenty five, twenty and twenty five. Aye, I'll tell you what it gets you. It's a big roll, that. And three years a week with your boy. <laughs> We're fucking fifty quid a week to have to. <laughs> hey, first defeat, sir. First defeat. Oh, big man. I could tell he was hurting on the oh, side. I was hurting. Fucking legend, man. What's wrong with him, Saturday? Nah, Try to phone you for a, a run. I know, I, I, needed, on your I needed to speak to people. Nah, Do you know what I think, though, Kev? And, and I, I think your like... time's up, mate, if I'm being honest. <laughs> See, think about... the fresh voice. Is uh, maybe that you'd probably need that modern day coach to go in there? Maybe the kids would maybe. I think we'll need I might, I might ask you to come in and freshen things up. Aye, I think you probably need that. I think aye. your idea of fit. I think you've taken them as far as you can tell. Aye, no, I yeah, seriously, I think probably the kids probably moved on for you. The kids will not be getting it out of you, so. No, they were a good competitive game. They were decent. The boy number months. eight for them was uh, excellent. He right, my, wee boy, my wee boy was uh, marking him. I was like, ah, oh, can't watch this, eh? <laughs> can't watch this happening to you. I can't imagine that. Mate, and rinsing him every the time. The striker what was age? brilliant, wasn't it? 9-8-9, 2014s. Did you ever watch your boy? Uh, aye, go and watch him, aye. Would you get frustrated? Aye. Aye. Were you the dad that was shouting? No, no, not at all. I just stand and watch and speak to him after. Uh, aye. Uh, that's, that's the worst when you see, like, when you say, they're about, like, Jude or whoever, and the boy up against him. Terrorise them. It's hard. See, that that is a oh, it's it. hard to watch. It. It. Young it boys that really good though, that, nah. The other boys does that. Is that your boy getting fucking? That's nah. my boy that's rinsing him. Like, ah, <laughs> first half and he chopped him, and it's all kicking off on yeah. the side. <laughs> I've never argued about him before. Like that. What do you mean we're getting, getting it done? Absolutely leathered, and it's hard that and to see your family dead and done to you. Was it quiet more on the way him there? It was my fucking hell. I was. Uh, I said to him, I says, boys, I think we played ten games all in. First defeat. I says, how, how does it feel? 
And they're like, I don't really like it. I says, well, remember that feeling. I says, because make sure it doesn't happen too often. Like motivator. Huh? But I'll tell you something, never, the feeling never lasted long because you were in the fucking horseshoe bar Saturday night giving it loud. I've seen one there. Hey, some of us sits with you for a while, Kenny. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to get over it, whereas some you can just forget about it easily. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> it's Sometimes, way, it. Sometimes it's the best way, big man. Fucking straight out. Not a problem. I, straight I, to I the horseshoe, it. how was I, that? I needed it, mate. I needed it. But you know, I went to uh, Anchor Line, a few drinks in there. Fuck I'm one, couple of other years. Anchor like the deer's barleton. And then uh, up to the horseshoe. I like the horseshoe. Horseshoe is good. Uh, chucked it there. You get chucked out too easy, mate. Well, that depends what you're doing. I've never been chucked out anywhere. Lynn was on the karaoke. What was that? What was she was saying? Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. Oh, no. What about you, Kenny? What did you do the weekend? Weekend? No, nothing. Working Saturday at the game. No, my nephew was boxing. Nephew's boxing doing another show. Me, what's his name? Oscar Steele, wet and one. What a name, man. Oscar Steele. Yep. Can you make a better boxing? Is a boxer? Holy yeah, fuck. Flying. Absolutely that flying. Pure, puts fear into me. What age is he? <laughs> yeah, 15. I'm going to get my punch. Fuck it, you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask him? Uh, I felt that. Did you? Oscar Steele, wow. Yeah, good fighter was I. He's 15 and he's fighting a boy older. Uh, nah, he was a good fight. And was he in the 14, 15, actually. And he beat him? Aye. Like, he's the wee losers. What's the wee losers? I can't remember. He's a wee bum. No, he was actually good as well. He was good, but no, it was a good fight. Good night, actually. Where was that in the Crown Plaza? It was in Irvin. It was Irvin, uh, his, his boxing club show. Irvin, can't even remember. Have you ever been in any of these shows and it kicks off? Oh. I have no actually, but I've heard about them. Oh, can get naughty, that, mate, can't I? I've been to a few boxing ones in the hotel when they're just like every fucking madman for the cities there. <laughs> just <laughs> somebody kidding. looks the wrong way. <laughs> so you're, just, you're sitting there in the corner going, right, that's, I can see him looking the wrong way. I'm just taking the wee door at the exit because... Fight goes after you. You're getting involved, aren't you? Uh, Not you kill anybody. You and that, you, I thought you and that coach at the weekend were going to. There was a few decisions that you were. No, it, it, they scored, and he pulled the boy back. They, Stephen shot a free kick, and the other boy stopped, and then they scored. And I said, "Mate, that was a free kick." No, he went no, and then the, thankfully the gallant cut boy came out and says, "Kevin, I'm a neutral. That's definitely a free kick." And the guy went, "That's fair, fair enough." So I was thinking, "Fucking got to take that goal, so he was." I've done the same. Right, go on the sport. Who wants to take it yeah, away? You I don't know. I've never even seen the it's thing. It's double the odds for new sign up to your first ten pound bet. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. To and with my word, this just reminds me of Titanic. This place. Shucks, Shucks wow. Have you, have you have you been here for food? It's incredible, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Kim. Seafood, like seafood, mate. Aye. Worth it. Oh, mate, honestly, the own uh, Epicures and also Kilbrook, which is a Michelin star. Kilbrook. Kilbrook, the only Kilbrook, the boxer I have. <laughs> We own him, so. <laughs> Shucks is brilliant in a bit. <laughs> Shucks is really good at how, make sure you get yourself here. It's flat, it's... seeing it, you know. No, I... that is incredible. Hey, the food speaks for itself. It reminds me that, see the middle bit of Titanic when Jack walks down and he, he meets Rose at the... How the did bit. she know I'm on that boat? Fucking hunters in the room, aren't they? <laughs> That's a shambles, that, isn't it? They could have done that better, to be fair. But this is absolutely stunning. Kev, okay, innit? Oh, you don't seem to be saying much about no, it. No, I'm a uh, seafood's not my thing, so it's Is it not that? You oh. just like meat in it. Oh, you eat meat. Love meat, mate. No, I like meat pasta, I like pasta. I just as shocks I've uh, used to work up here when it was being made uh, being like turned into a restaurant. I think it used to be something else before this, but looks the part, didn't it? Cra crab linguine. Like, ah, like that. Nice. nice. Somebody tried to convince me one night that um oh, spice. Love it. Nice. But what was it? Uh, what was it? Um lobster, something lobster. Pasta thing dishes or try this kind of be lovely and it put me off. What lobster? It was, it was like lobster. It was like a lobster. Lobster thermidor. Maybe that might have been, and it put me off. Right, quick quiz question: How many how many legs does a lobster have? This is incredible. This. Go on then. No, do you need no? Eight. Wow, what a shirt. What's wrong? Is it ten? No, it's eight. It's eight, aye. Eh? Well done, Kenny. <laughs> How do you know that? Good guess. Clever guy. <laughs> right, it's LV Ross County. Who watched it? I did. Yep. Average. Two, uh, was it average or huh? Average. And so was that due to Ross County huh? getting no, no. a... No, just, just was average. It wasn't a good game. Change of personnel. Yeah, I think they missed Hattati. Aye. To be honest. Uh, Big time when he was What did they miss out in uh, Hattati in intensity? Aye. Aye. Quality. Again, uh, Awata kind of steps into the McGregor role. And by the way, he was actually alright, to be fair. He was alright. There was no decent. McGregor. Uh, aye, I thought they missed Hattati. Jota's not really been at it either. No. They really I, don't know, I don't think Jota's as good on the right. Uh, no, I agree. I'd agree. Uh, I, th I don't think he's been at it. Even the cup final, I didn't think it was, it was great. He's, the nah, penalty he's... wasn't a convincing penalty for me. It looked like he oh, just no, it was so hard again. It's it, another bar. Oh, so no, but even the, the, the technique in his penalty taking it. Don't straight it, oh, down, I, 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 I thought he got really lucky. Because it's not even on the other side no. of the goalkeeper. It's, 
on the goalkeeper's side. He was very lucky, but yep. no, you're probably uh, right. He could easily have hit him, I bet, wasn't he? He still missed wasn't a lot of chances though, yesterday. Be, yeah. No being at, that, being at their best, they still missed a hell of a lot of chances though. Mm. Particularly the second half. Ross County is a tough place to go. Especially after an international like struggled, They've not struggled, but it's not been as convincing as you'd expect. You know, yeah, they, 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 they get the, they job, get the done. job done. Big Malky sets his teams up well, to be fair to him. And, it was, and he did make it tough. They worked hard, they were well organised. And it took that kind of dodgy penalty dodgy decision to get to, right on half time as well. Yep. So it was a big, big moment. You think this handball rule change in the summer? Aye. But to think, what though? I think um, it's got to be deliberate. Just, it's got to go to deliberate handball, mate. Eh? Si, when, how many times have you deliberately handballed I know, a ball in your career? Need the goes to meet the horn no. a lot of times. I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather right. use my hands and my feet, mate. That's why. <laughs> Managers, you know, but I don't think it exists. I don't think a deliberate handball exists. No, but I mean a clear kind of like, like see, my goal or something. Stop my head. Like that's he's jumping in it. Uh, it was I thought it was a harsh call, but I don't know how you fix it. I really don't. But it was uh, it was harsh. I don't know. I'd be better just come back to how it was before. What, handball's a handball. Handball's a handball, and just like don't mind it. And in, in terms of like some of the VAR decisions, some of them they get. I mean, they're better off just using VAR for what's important. So offside. But then you'll but I, 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 but then you'll have the case. I, I, but then you'll have the case that there is a ridiculous handball, and if VAR's not looking at it. You know, like it's just, listen, it's hard for the referees because, let's be honest, if his hand's outstretched, you know, the ball falls right. and, it, and it misses the header and hits him in the arm. So to the letter, a lot probably is a penalty, but he's no went to handball that. He's actually stretching to go and head it. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's... He's trying to get contact and with the Carter Vickers, Celtic, Celtic, like, Carter Vickers misses that it's and it lands on his hand. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Harsh. Should we look at it in terms of when it hits the hand... Can we then fast forward VAR a <laughs> few what? seconds to see the outcome in terms of the potential outcome of it? So say say for example, he's jumped to try and and it's just hit him and the ball's just fell there and, and Ross County have cleared it. Say he's hit the hand and the Celtic strikers there ready just to hit a shot, you would say you were taking a we're, we're going to be an advantage for it. Ah, you're not getting an advantage from it. So I get to a point where there is the handball. Has affecting it co- aye, is, it aff- yep. is it affecting the situation? So rather than just go, oh, that's touched his hand, it's a penalty, instead of saying, it's touched his hand, but if it didn't touch his hand, Celtic's got an opportunity there. So then you yeah. say penalty, whereas, but then we're looking It becomes at, complicated though. Aye, because like we're trying, areas as yeah. well. Do you know my favourite thing for the game? <clears throat> Ross County go man for man, because I could play it too much, go man for man, and Joe Hart just kicks the ball up to O. One fucking pass, turn. See, they can do that though. But oh, but they can so do what I'm going to ask you is with this set of Rangers game coming up, if it's Kyogo that starts, if you're Rangers, do you go and do what Ross County does and says, go and kick your ball to Kyogo? But they've done it, like they've had the chance to do it before. Listen, they might doesn't mean to say they'll know that. Uh, St Mirren apparently done it. At Celtic Park, Celtic Park, Park yeah, but they mm. want to finish as four 0 but they got yep. a man sent off. Yeah, that's yeah. right. St Burn is that was that went uh-huh. bang at it and, and pressed them high. I think you need to. Yeah. They're good enough to play through you at times, I yeah. do, but I think you need to go for them. I, I would much rather go for them and see if they do get through. Sprint back. Sprint back as fast as I can possibly go to get back and protect it and defend the situation rather than allowing Carter, Vickers and Starfelt and McGregor and Natai to get on the ball and start running the show and get into the rhythm. I would oh, much rather they done it. Rangers done it the la- uh, <clears throat> last year's semi-final, didn't they? Under Van yeah. Gronkhorst at Hamden, I'm sure they did. Because yeah, Aribo went and played right up against McGregor, didn't they? They were struggling, I, I, I'm sure, that day and... I think that is that that's the way to do it. Um, I'm just going to ask you. So we've just gone to the old from chat already. Huh? No, right. but it's always just <laughs> relevant to the game. It's just relevant to the game. But do you think see what Hattati and Moyu are Celtic know the same team of footing because we keep talking about the Celtic's great squad? I but think it's just Hattati. I think I, 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 I think, think, I, I, think I, I think when O'Reilly, O'Reilly I Moy for me, it's I, I really really like O'Reilly. Mm. So I think if Moy was to be missing and O'Reilly, Hattati, and McGregor are playing, I still think it's formidable. But I think Hattati missing, you're, you're losing something for your team. But they've also not been great with Hattati and the team up at Dingwall as well. There has been times where Hattati's played and they've not been at their free-flowing best up there. I, I think that, that game yesterday as well, I, I, I think you'd find it hard to go there and play except when you've been, the players have been away for probably for two weeks, ten days to two weeks, you've not had them on the training pitch. I know that might be an excuse, it's the same for every team, but it ain't a place you want to be going, Simon, um, after an international break. Just my point. But if you think of the last few performances from Celtic, so if you go back to the, I think it was a Hibs game, Hibs went 1-0 up, would that be right? Aye. Yeah, 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 struggled, yeah, yeah. struggled to get back into yep. the game and then this performance so are, are they starting games a wee bit slower than normal mm. is there a point in the season where it's like I know, I know you would never think this a footballer but they're nearly over the line but they're not quite over the line in terms of like wrapping things up and it's like can you one Tori why don't you go for it see what you said there somebody said to me a few people said to me people that study football that mate who's it <laughs> who studies football I want to know 
Your dad in it? No, I can't. Your dad said it, after no. 10 can, what has he said? It was some, no, it was, it was somebody really, really high up in football. They said to me, watch him once out of March, April, May, because Celtic style of play for the season, you can't keep up a full season. No, I, don't, I disagree. Well, you know what's interesting I then? I mean, it's, it's, not it's the exact opposite message. Like that, it's the exact opposite message coming from Postacoglu. He wants to finish stronger. Mm -hmm. He wants his team to, to, to take it to another level and know he's kind of ease through the season and, and kind of follow the line he wants them to be sprinting over that line so that would be interesting I like the they've not been great the last couple no, of games they've not been great but what I like is, is 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 because of the strength and depth that they have when you put on three subs uh, it changes the game doesn't it changes everything uh, so Celtic got that wee they got a wee boost from that when you're playing maybe Rangers next week Rangers can make three subs but yeah. I don't think they get the same impact as what the Celtic do see when, I'm when like, we had this discussion when we're leading into the cup final see when you look at Rangers bench well, I think Rangers bench is strong probably as now because I think even then it was though like you look so. at the bench at the cup final it was a strong bench but uh, it's mere like players that can come on and change the game it, uh, impact right. players, I, I, get yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it but I even think now there is players there that I mean it's a strong bench there's guys that are known the bench that are that, that, are, that are decent players well, that's I think they're Two really good squads, huh? We're going to come. We're going to come to Rangers, but just yeah. quickly because I watched the weekend. Morelos or Kolac at the weekend. Oh, did he go two? No chance. They will, uh, no, he might go two. I just don't want to go with two. Day two. Uh, I don't want to go with two. Start. Yeah. If he's fit. Cholak will start. Yeah. Cholak. Yeah. Think so. Aye. Yeah. I think so. I thought Morelos looked quite decent. Actually. He looked trim. He looked trim. And I thought at the weekend. I thought he looked. That, uh, uh, couple of it was a good. It was a sign. To be honest, I was surprised that he played at the weekend. And maybe that's a sign, but I think even after watching the weekend, I, I don't know. How much does the starting know. 11s come in at when you're predicting these games? So, for instance, Taylor came off. If he yeah. wasn't playing, that'd be a massive blow to say. Like, I think he said he's got a play. dead leg. Well, I think right. the starting so, leave is are so important. You look at the last the semi-final there, when Raskin and Cantwell didn't start, how important that was. I mean, everybody yeah. criticised Bill for no starting there too, so I think the starting 11s will be so important. And the Taylor was a, was a badge in the goat. No, I think, I think Anne said after his interview that it was, just looks like a dead leg, it should be okay. Right. But then a dead leg, 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 a bad dead leg can be... Can it? I think, it can I think the time, biggest man. one is, I, I actually think Bernabe has looked alright. I think he's looked alright when he's yeah, played. I don't know. I he came on, he made right. mistakes straight away, but then he's obviously got a goal and stuff, but... He looks he's yeah, no it's Taylor. Not, it looks Taylor, no, when he comes into that invert, it's more so good in there, isn't he? Ah, uh, he's more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. He's great yeah. energy, Taylor, as well. So we'll see when he's in there and he doesn't get it or he gets it and moves on. He's then busting these wee, gap, wee gaps. Runs these wee gaps. He does it really well, huh? But I think Bernamy's Bern got... The, he can play that intensity, but I don't know if he's got the quality on the ball yeah. that Taylor's oh, got. No? Maybe the brain. Brain, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's not got quite the same level of understanding of the role, Yeah, who's that? I don't know, just somebody say, it says Chelsea. Get to Chelsea, Joe. Get Chelsea. 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 He's leaving Condorit to go to Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea, kiss, kiss. Big Potter, <laughs> big snotter. Yeah. I don't know who she is. Would you take that? No. I don't want a job. I'm quite happy driving a taxi, boys. Oh, on. wait, last week, but one after one defeat, you're, you were she's one defeat and you're not on a job. She's back to Rippers. No, I'm, I'm, were, I'm not doing Condorit. Two weeks ago, you were, you were going to the top. No, no, Come on, big boys, I'm, one looking for, I'm looking forward to the break. Needing a break. Do you, what, you need a wee break? I need a break, man. Too much. Three boys here every Saturday, and I've got fucking Danny going to every club in Scotland every night of the week. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Queen's Park, Wednesday, Celtic, Thursday, Hamilton, New Rangers, I'm at in a minute. He's got to keep up with us. Jack Angel be there for some fun, but. Huh? Jack Angel be there for some fun. I did think about Leicester and myself, to be honest with you. No. Leicester, he's not going to Leicester. You wouldn't get a Chelsea job, and you wouldn't take Leicester. Yeah. I don't know. What What one are you thinking? Chelsea. Wait, I think Chelsea would get... No. Mate, Chelsea's not getting rid of him. Enrique. What do you say she's in the drink? Eh? What do you say she's in the drink? <laughs> <laughs> you are, what's this with the... I'm Baltic, mate. Are you cold? Baltic. He's got shorts on, guys. Just let's well, see the legs. I look here and I Get the legs up on. Look at the man. size of the legs, mate. I nearly broke my ankle. Like ginger hairy legs. I did as well, huh? I just caved my legs in it. I nearly broke my ankle today, look. On the scooter. Scooter's dangerous, mate. They, they, they new trainers, mate. They're looking... <laughs> tired, <laughs> They're tired, aren't they? They're not going to box fresh. <laughs> well, good <laughs> shout, mate. Good shout, yeah, mate. Very good shout. On. You watch the Rangers London United game? Watch the highlights. I thought they looked good, Rangers. First half was slow. No, somebody at the game uh, said that to me. It was, it was the same as the Motherwell game. Yeah, the Motherwell game a couple of weeks ago where all the possession, probing, 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 scored a really good goal by actually good play. Connor Golson threw to Cantwell. Brilliant reverse pass into Tillman and Tillman finishes. Uh, didn't really look, look like scoring up until that moment but second half was similar to Motherwell they came out playing forward quicker there was more energy better movement 
Could have been five. Probably should have been then, Why five. do you think they've not really started like that, and especially games at home at Ibrox this year? Because I think Bills came and said that. Trying though, like, you know, but when you've got a team playing that way, so compact yeah. like, against you. Sometimes it, as you know, it takes a wee bit longer to, for the legs to maybe go a wee bit in the team when you're constantly working yeah. them, and then they go and hit them. And they should have been five uh, towards the end. Many counter attacks that they never made the most. Of the, I think it was Rangers incredible. Look, I think Rangers are looking better, vastly improved. Yeah, Aye. definitely. I think there's. Definitely a bit more of an identity about them. I think it was a slow start with Beal, but I think it was always, he was always going to try and get to his end goal. And I actually think in every old firm leading up to, in the week leading up to the old firm, it's been the same talk of conversation in terms of how many Celtic going to take off of Rangers. Where we see this week, next week, I think it's going to be very, very close. Yeah. Closer than I. Even when they fans then? Yep, definitely. Right, do you think that'll come into it or not? Nah, no. because when you think about 800 fans there the last time and whatever it is, you hardly hear them anyway. Mm. Um, see with the Tillman, Tillman thing 5 million they're talking about he is the type see for that how teams play against especially at Ibrox Tillman's the type of midfielder that you need one that's not just going to pass aye, side and can't and well and can't well and can't well can't 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 he, he, he makes a simple pass and then he'll run away in into, into a space and yeah. see that there then people don't know where he is but he's creating other space for somebody else to come in and take his but position and I just think he's, he's just no one of the midfielders that stands still like he's touched for that one round the corner to tell us incredible I'm really int intrigued to see what the team will be because How do you I think don't it think be? in the old fun game it would have like going into the game at the weekend somebody asked me could he no play Sakala and play Tillman which would have meant Kent, Cantwell and Tillman are all on the team and that's what he done at the weekend. I'm really intrigued to see if he does. But see, Celtic Park, he's not going to go there and dominate the game, is he? How could you, I, I know? I know you say Celtic are going to play their way. Yeah. But see, when you've got it, how can how could they know? And, but, but have they been successful in terms of Sakala hitting them on the counter attack, especially at Celtic Park? Oh, that's why I think Sakala probably well play. Yeah. needs to play. But Tillman scored two. Cantwell's becoming a really really important player. Kent will always play. Yeah. Who do you leave it? Is it could you play player? Tillman in uh, one of the centre midfield positions? No. Mm, no. Yeah. That means who would you miss? That means you're going to be missing a Kent or a Cantwell. Though. No, of but course. I'm saying instead of do you need a Lundstrom and a Jack in there? If you if you if you do want to be good when you get the ball, because but for me Lundstrom and Jack do the same thing. That means one of the, Kentwell or Cant, uh, Cantwell or Tillman would have to be deeper in that, like for that to happen. Yeah. In the same way, which nah, no, no, don't, I don't. So can Rangers play those lot and be more attacking and just go for it? I'm thinking more like Sakala wide right. Can't well, they've been playing that way though. Right. Well, how they've been playing? They've been playing like with four midfielders where Kent's been. Floating well, in behind the front two. Yeah. Right. Okay. It was a bit different at the weekend uh, because Tillman was playing Sakala, wasn't he playing? But there was still a. There, there were more like there. Who was it? Maybe Tillman off the right. Kent. But you know what it is? See when they've got the ball. Kent, Cantwell, and Tillman just position themselves in, in the spaces. And behind. That's what they did. And they had obviously Morelos as a forward. So, so what, would no, what would you do? What would you do? I don't know. <laughs> actually, I actually don't know. Uh, I think Tillman, it'd be very, very harsh to leave him out after scoring two goals. At the weekend, then he came on and made an impact and scored against Motherwell as well. So he's up, it'd be tough to leave him up. What do you hope really happens would. on the opposite side of it? Well, I can tell you, I know the team already. Hey, right, right, how do you know that? I just know it. I can you gave him a lot of people, didn't know you gave him a lot of the drills, didn't you? Yeah, I still. Go on, give us it then. Let's have a I'll look. tell the team it'll be McGregor, who I'm going to go on incredible 500 appearances. I couldn't make yours, Kenny, and mine actually. Hey, have you ever scored against him now? McGregor? Hey. Hey, hey. When was that? You scored out there? Reserve game. Reserve game. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> right? So, Al McGregor, Tavenier, Ben Davis, Goldson. Um, oh, wait, so you're side. playing Ben Davis on the right? Nah, no, 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 shy. <laughs> nah, nah. Listen. You've got it wrong, mate. Inverted and a half, something. <laughs> um, I had a bandage on Saturday. I, I wasn't no, sure if he was going to be dizzy or not. He does know. No, the one you have oh. uh, failed to mention, which is absolutely... Raskin. Raskin, I mean, you're all dis uh, discussing. Well, well, Tillman broke into. How is it, me rascal? He's all right, he's tidy now to be man. But listen, hey, hey, concentrate. Sorry, mate. You failed to mention Raskin, you're talking about dropping Tillman back in. My word, as if that is ever going to happen. Raskin's dropped, he'll be in. He's been outstanding, uh, and they're keeping him fresh. For that. He'll be all right, Kenny, for all that. Right, okay. He's talked to the, the, the medics, the med medics at Rangers. He'll be in. Now, the decision will be alongside Lundstrom or Jack. That's a preference for Beale today. I don't see him in. Uh, well, you said you know the team, so tell us the team. Ryan Jack will be in. Uh, Lundstrom will be sitting off. He's been miles off at VCL recently. And Sakala will come on as an impact player. So you know start? You know start with Tillman, Kent, Cantwell, Kent, and Chola. So, I mean, uh, listen, if I'm right, I'll know if I can back up and go. That's how confident I'm out of that team. So <laughs> that would suggest uh, that they're, they're going to go there to try and dominate the game, they're not going to try uh, and hit the counter? No, but, but I think you can, you can go there, Ty, um, and, and, and be happy. One thing is for sure, they're not going to play on that. They're not going to, that one will be a ploy to sit and play on the counter. No, I, I think Anero starts. 
Oh, right start by that. No, no, right start. He's, he's burnt his bridges with Bale, and I think Bale's openly oh, said that. Why did he play the weekend then? I think Charlotte was, I felt we were tight after that national break. Did he go away with Croatia? No. <laughs> Did <they> pass <laughs> I'll tell you, there ain't no chance when else is playing at Celtic Park. With the amount of work they're going to need today, with Celtic's play, there's no way. You're asking him to do that? No way. But if you're going to go and game. press two up, you're not really chasing the ball, but you're just there to make them kick it. Do you think, if, think if Rangers press up? Think, think, it's a bit think, think Celtic, what, 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 what does Celtic do differently if Rangers decide to press up? You're saying, all, obviously, yes. You can't kick it to no, you, can you? I know, that's the point. So he's definitely going to play Kyogo. Did you kick me down to Tavernier? But again, I don't know if but we're still, but we're still in this play modern day. We're still, we're still doing it, regardless play of who's it. pressing. So will we'll they just it. continue to try and play it? Of course they will. I mean, the thought that you think he's going to kick the ball. I mean, the odd time I do it. Did Rangers not try to press to Celtic me. a few games back? Remember the midweek one, and they got absolutely picked off. And they got beat three. Was that the midweek one, or maybe last back end of last season? No, that they sat in. That was the Celtic part. That they was sat that, was that the one they sat in? Ah, like and Rangers have actually been really good on the on the counter. Even they had a lot of chances v Hibs Easter Road. They were the dominant team, but at times Sakala was unbelievable on the counter. Um, I know I said he will not play, but the Tillman still would be good and it can't will be great and it can't will be good. So at, at times Celtic will have the ball and they'll be hard. The Rangers will get in a good shape. They'll maybe press, but if they beat that, they'll get in a good shape and then they'll be ready to pound. So my concern about if, if Sakala doesn't play is like either the weekend and Mullerwell as well. Everyone's in front. Uh, they done the United particularly the weekend, and they were having to score a goal by playing through or maybe a set play. And eventually did get through. I don't know if they'll have that amount of opportunity against Celtic. Celtic. So I think if you've not got Sakala, there's no really anybody who does stretch or run beyond. Because the goals they have scored against Celtic have mostly been on the counter attack now. Have they? At Celtic Park. Celtic Park. I need to see the goals. I would need to carry it. The one end of the last season, they drew 1 1 last Aye, so that season. So that was yeah. Sakala. Cut it back. Yeah. Can't put yeah. it in. Um, yeah. Goals a set piece at the, the, fi uh, the final, wasn't it? Aye. Um, Let's go back yeah. post. I actually know scored too many. Actually, when you think yeah. the three 0 the four 0 uh, I mean they got off to a really good start at Ibrox when Ramsey scored. Uh, it's uh, I'll be honest, I'm I'm really intrigued to see how we go because oh, I think big decisions this week. Like you know how Celtic will play. I'll be doing how how Rangers score a bit, won't it? That's kind of what's in the balance now. How Rangers are going to play? Right, because I've not. I mean, I mean, since Sanchez came in, I. To be getting beat, frankly, been getting beat for two games now. Three 0 at half time. The games we done that can't happen. That ain't acceptable. And it. Last year, was they were getting beat 3-0, it was a night game, they were getting beat 3-0 at half-time. This season, they were getting beat 3-0 at half-time. That's that's an embarrassment, if you ask me. Well, it wasn't just that if I was 3-0, it was 3 going on. Yeah. Six, you know, so... Uh, I thought Rangers were, were all right at the game. I brought the 2-2, to, to, to be honest. They came into yeah, the game yeah, with yeah. Yeah, it, like it. it was a cup final, wasn't it? Actually, a great cup final for either of the teams. I know you've seen like, the best version of either. But uh, obviously Celtic got the job done. As I say, I'm intrigued because it's a, in terms of Celtic, you, you know pretty much, you know how they're going to play, you know a lot of the things that are going to be doing. Personnel is going to be a, a consideration if a tat is not available, but I would assume it will be. Uh, Rangers are in that midfield area, that's, where, that's who's going to play. How's the, how's the house going to be this week, the split house? <laughs> Tom, I think we're going to do it to after the weekend, so Tom will be in amongst the, his Rangers cousins. Right. The last old firm game at Ibrox, the likes of Tillman and other the Rangers key players were very quiet. I thought Tillman was really, really quiet. So it's great scoring two goals against the United at the weekend and your Collins will be high, but he needs to take that performance <laughs> and put in a huge performance. What, what I nearly fucking that? choked there. That's the no, that's <laughs> the <a> bone. <laughs> I nearly I would like to see Tillman like <laughs> a big couple, make like? more of an impact in an old firm game. Mm. Because he has the potential and I think sometimes mm. in these big games. Some of the Rangers bigger players, i.e. your Kent's, your Tillman's, I don't think they do enough. And, and, is, and that, is that down to the fact that Celtic have just got domination, that they've got the ball. Possibly. Oh, these guys that's when Tillman's good when you dominate they the ball. They the ball, and that's why, yeah. that's why the question, that's the only question mark about why he wouldn't play. Yeah. Is if you can see, a, a, envisage a game that, right, okay, we maybe need somebody a wee bit more workman like in the team. Yeah. Because that's one thing I think Cantwell now well, he's definitely plays. Yeah, because of the work I think he, he plays himself. because he yeah. gives you that. Both. That creativity, he's now got his goal. I mean, he played, he was good again at the weekend. He's, he's getting better as each week goes past. I think he's now become the guy, he, he will play in one of these attacking positions in midfield. Or if they're playing three, he'll, he'll be the attacking one. Is that a hiccup? hiccup? Is that a hiccup? I don't know what it was, mate. Are there any doctors are watching? Can you please? Because I've never seen that before. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a hiccup. It was loud on that. It was an inhaled hiccup. Something was trying to come out. Something was trying to come out. Something was trying to come out. I didn't even notice it. What have you, ramming, what have you been ramming down there over the weekend? Because it's trying to get back in. By the way, I need a ticket for the game. Pump my bridges after you threw me under the bus for the Rangers strip. 
my contacts, oh, contacts no, no, con- I'm happy to go there with full service. You know, we've, you know we, you've, you're taking a game on Saturday. <clears throat> Fuck, you know, it's Sunday, no? <laughs> <laughs> you just practicing? No, no, I actually thought they'd give me Sunday, sorry. I fucking don't want a ticket, forget that. Does they need a no ticket way. now? Got a big game to win. Will you watch it all, Kenny? Saturday on the side. Ah, you've got a train. I'm working. You work there, aye. You working at it? I'll be there, aye. What kind of reception do you ever get? Any? Get there early. I just get there what, nice before and early. the crowd gets there. Will you get abuse, Kenny? Aye, seriously. No, I've done it a few times. Uh, the, the commentary on it, so it's uh, it's been all right. Aye, you get a wee bit because you're sitting, you're right, you're right there, and then We've the fans are there. I've, I've been. I was I was there for the three and the four now. And oh, the fans are right there, so you're you're getting it tight because but they've had it all. Celtic have had it all their own way, so it's kind of. It's banter like if it's yeah. the other way about, then I don't know. I've not experienced that one yet. Mm. Right, wait till you ask because he's got someone written down as a tribute to Alan McGregor. So wait, take it away. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, five hundred appearances, my word, incredible, Kenny. Um, and I thought this: if you get good memories, what's your best memories, William? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is that your tribute to her? I don't know, I've had a tribute to her. But that is his poor lawyer, though. No. I know, what? It's a big achievement. See, if I was a Celtic like, player, he'd have a big hang yeah. with this and that. It was and actually, it was Andy, wasn't it? Andy had a big hang from the day yeah. and he's. Because he you know what I'm saying, you know? No. No, no but I just better come for somebody that did play, or somebody like you've scored against them. How did, did you think he was going to have the career after you banged one into him? Did you feel he was going to have the career? Did I think that was a wake-up call. It was a bit of arse he needed. And I scored against him, you think about it. I need to fucking start take, taking this here. What a goal did, as well. We clipped to the back post. I ran in late midfield run. Volley right, right, right by him. Like Cantona against Newcastle. A wee bit like Cantona. Yeah. Uh, it was harder as well, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was harder like than Mo- Like Mullerian's Boric in the back post. Do you remember that? It was a reserve game. It was about 10,000 there. Yeah. So it's basically a real game, isn't it? I know, I don't, I'm not. Uh-huh. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not taking that Incredible goal. But what, what a career he's had, eh? Incredible, mate. Absolutely incredible. I mean, he's, I still think he could be there next year. Do you? I really do, aye. I do. I, I think he's, uh, he'll still be undecided. It might depend on how the season finishes, but what a servant. I mean, he's not made many mistakes this year, has he? No. I can't think of any, to be honest. He's a bit slower, I think, now, lads, honest. I think he's a wee bit slower now. Oh, yeah, man, I love it. Look at the saves, oh, somebody, sure the saves he makes. I've said it. You can't, he's. I, didn't, I thought you were going to go along with no, me there. No, not at all. No, <laughs> not at all. Gutty, I wish I never said it, so he's, I just uh, won't feel like he's still putting a lot of points on the board, eh? Yeah, yeah, and I think come these big games and like again in the game on Saturday, if you need somebody to make that big save in that moment, then there's no the better in this country, in my opinion. Still at 41. Wow. Right. Yeah, so I'd love to still see him there next year. Uh, there's no doubt he's still the best goalkeeper in, in the building, so uh, they'll have to replace him if, if he would decides he, would to he, retire. Would he be the type that would go into coaching, Kenny? I think he would, I, I think. Again, he doesn't say much, you know, but I think I, I think he would quite fancy it. If it was the right role. Does he not say much now? Nah. He's quiet, boy. Like he's so loud. Aye, he's quiet. Aye, on the pitch, when he's more a referee or a player for no running forward quick enough he's away to throw it out nah he's, he is he's quite he's, he's quite like, off the field he'll not give anything away is what I mean yeah. so he'll not be right open about what his plans are he'll, he'll keep it to his cell and then he'll deal with it at the end of the season but it might depend on what the conversation with Michael is because that conversation maybe never happened towards the end of last season he comes on in the cup final and everybody thought that was him maybe he's done and then he stays on and then he's not the number one at the start of the season I, that might depend on how the conversation goes with Michael at the end of the year Kenny what was your favourite memories playing with him? Playing with him again, there's, there's too many of the saves that he made me again. More when you think he saves, I was watching the saves that he's made against uh, Werder Bremen when they went to UEFA Cup Cut last year. That Slavia Prague save when he was doing yeah. at the bottom corner. Michael was actually talking about that save this week. Some of the saves, the penalty saves in the old oh, fun yeah. games as well. I remember one, another was at Samaras, drilled one at the top corner and he's got him and put that Straight over the bar. Like he was man, breaking hearts, so very, very sad. Griffiths, yeah. there was one with Griffiths as well, remember that? Mm-hmm. Left foot, Griffiths comes in and. Sp- ah, that's right, and you got the fingertip, fingertip on it. Fingertips on it. Yeah. There's so many, you know, like he's. Because that's what he does. The big saves and the big moments when. And that's when they say goalkeepers put points on the board. You know, that's that's what he's done. There's when, no minute to do it that way. When know? did he make his debut for Rangers? What year? Would that have been? 2000. I did it on Fernand. I did it Johnson as well. I'm so a so nice Would you remember him when he was in the 21s? Yeah. I remember. He was, he was there when I first went there in 2000. I was a young boy, but he had a broke. It wasn't until Walter came in 2006. I'm not even going to ask if he broke his finger by it. No, it was his there, it was there. Oh, was his finger, I was there. That is a bit of an area, I hope. It was, uh, when Walter came back after the Gwen, that was him straight in. So that would be, that was, I mean, he made his debut, I think he made his debut 2002, 2003. But he's, uh, when Walter came in, that was him right through. He's been the number one. Yeah. Pre- well, when he's been at the club, he's been the number Have one. You heard Andy's story about him in uh, Tenerife? Aye. Ali McCoy's messages last week. <laughs> First, I just heard that, uh, that right? Andy Halliday story on McGregor. That, he says that's sensational. Uh, that's great. Yeah, that was a great story. Wasn't it? Oh my god! Is I, he like? Is he like that? Huh? Don't, but listen, he's. he's What's he like off the pitch? Quite quiet. 
I listen, loved or he did love his night suit. He loved being with the boys. Great boy. He's a brilliant teammate. You know, like he's, he he has this rep. But I'll tell you, he's one of the most professional guys you would ever like you would ever come across. First in, he's got his routines. Even back, what was that, two thousand eight? That's fifteen years ago. He'd be in the gym going through his routines, make sure he was ready for training, doing his stuff after. And apparently, he's still like that now. So he's uh, he knows what it takes to to go perform. And uh, looking forward to the game on Saturday. To play in that environment when you're saying when there's no fans anyway, 60,000 fans, you need to be going in there looking forward to it and ready to thrive. And that's what he does. And that's uh, why he puts the saying. points on the board and makes oh. the big saves. Can you see in games like this, we, we Celtic, seeing the dressing room, is he different? So you see he's quite quiet, but seeing games like this, when he, at the Old Firm games, will he be different in the changing nah, room? He'll no, know. he'll know. No. Is he not vocal in the dressing room? I know now? he is vocal. He is vocal, but he'll not be any, he'll not be any different yeah, to what, what it is. He'll, he'll still be. He'll, he'll, he's not going to be mere focused he'll, you'll always want to think it's going to be but he'll not be he'll just be the same but what he is is he's going to be super up for it and when you cross that white line and you've got the 60,000 that are giving him it he's somebody that's just going he's going to make that better and still be able to bring his best and that's what separates obviously like the good players like for the really really like the great players in, in that fixture Is he better than Klaus? No Aye for oh, me oh. Wow I should see that. <laughs> I should that. Listen I think he's I, I think he could be Rangers best ever goalie Damn it. Aye. Even ahead of the goalie? Well, look, no, it's, it's an era thing, isn't it? Aye. It's an era thing, whereas I think he deserves to be spoken about in the same. And he, again, where they're very similar is you think of that Celtic team back in the day where they would be dominating, dominating, and Andy Gorham would be breaking hearts everywhere. Like McGregor's done the same thing just in a different era, you know? Aye. So I think people that have played with Griggsy will maybe say that. I think I read Big Boyd, he was talking about it this week. He, he said that. <laughs> and, uh, he does shoot you in him in the garden, doesn't he? <laughs> but then, if you're uh, if you're talking about your supers and your Durantes and your Goffs, then they'll probably say Gorham because they played with him. You know, it'd be interesting to see somebody like Ali's opinion because he's coached Dan, but uh, he's actually been in the same dressing room as both. He's been on the training field with them both. But uh, I, 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 I think he, he, he definitely he be, deserves to be spoken in that breath. That's for sure. He has a question. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Richard Dortmund. One of the European Cup with Dortmund, am I right in saying that? Yeah, sure, I'm right in saying oh, that. That shouldn't be any comparison they do. Oh, no, all right, hey. No, I'm it was the like Champions League one. Hey, <laughs> <I, I, I, laughs> on, on my take on Greece, I remember him like, with the 21s, like Kenny, like, before, and he couldn't get a game for her. Soapy. Soapy? Oh, so nice. can you get a game? And I used to think well, he's a Rangers young goalie. He's not going to. And then obviously that's why I asked the question: When did he make his debut? But to actually go on and have like five hundred games, that's incredible. Isn't nah. it? And like at forty, was he forty before two this year? My favourite story: Have you heard Marshall's story about him? When they were a whole David Marshall told him when he was on here, he said they had like a Russian manager. He said so he quite he, he struggled with translation every now and again. So they would do video after it, and the Russian guys like that. Uh, this player, where, where should he be? Where should he be? Is, is this the right position? And, and it was an outfield player, but it was Griggs who put his time. He went, no, no, no. He, that's not the right position, Gaffer. And he went, where should he be? How far away should he be from here? And Alan McGregor goes, I bet a ball here away. He says, that's what the fuck's a ball here. <laughs> that's how, how he'll speak, he'll speak, you know. He's not going to, he might have said that a wee bit slower. A ball here. <laughs> <laughs> or not a ball here, but no, he's some boy. Yeah, ball here's a quite. Long the moon, 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 I don't get, longer than Here's a, a question for you right now. I will not be asked <laughs> to Kenny Muller for now on Saturday. If you could have one ex teammate in the Rangers team on Saturday, who would it be? Barry Ferguson. No, but think, I want you to think about. That's a no. brilliant answer. I want you to think about. I want to think about Rangers. Let the answer be. What the team needs. Needs. No, no. Barry Ferguson. You need him to take the game, and it doesn't matter what's needed in that game. He'll he'll do it. No I, I think he gives you. He gives you everything. No doubt. Take the ball, leadership qualities. Attitude, everyone, he's got the lot in Fight, that type of game. Tackle, Fight, determination, steel, understanding winner, the. the everyone. Aye. If you could take any one of your set of reserve team. <laughs> he did that. You played in, put them into the team. Charlie like Grant was straight in. You get the same quality as him. No, that's one of the best questions I've ever had. Thanks, mate. And I've got another question, Paige, as well, and I'll include all you in this. Kevin Van Veen's a free transfer at the end of the season. Would Rangers take him? No, no. 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 17 goals in the SPL for Motherwell? No us. way. 17 goals? What happened, is, uh, what happened to his move to China? Was that not supposed to happen last week, no? You know, he's ex mother man, you tell us. Huh? You know what the inside track on that? Burrow's cancelled it, didn't he? See, on Ken Van Veen, 17 goals, right? I think if you would look over the course of the season, he probably disappointed with 17 amount of chances he maybe has missed, because I think he, he, he has opportunities every week. Dang, you think he'd be mm -hmm. disappointed with 17? Well, well no, that's a big no, level of goal. What I'm saying is he's 17, but he, he could easily, there was a period where, I think just before Christmas, where he wasn't scoring at all for weeks. So for me, 17, go that run, I. Yep. 17 goals is a good return, but 
when the school on Saturday. Kev, do you play we'll talk about it? Do you play with any top team? You need half the boys not got that, so moving on. Off the ball? He's not got that at all. Good point. What about this last one, Kevin Nisbet? Did you take him? Aye. What are you getting Nisbet for in the summer? Two million? Aye, Two million now? Well, last year he's contract. Rangers surely take him now. Aye, if Morelos was away, would you know? I don't think they'll sign him. No. Just Aye. a wee bit short of the level, you think? Listen, I, th- I really like, I really like Nisbet, but he's... Uh, I don't think Rangers will sign him. I don't think the, the, the level of player that Rangers fans would expect, I don't think fits the Kevin Nisbet mould, although we would rate him highly. What Rangers are probably looking for, somebody tried, tested. I know you're saying he probably wants to score. I know, I know. I know, that sort I know of but Bill's already come out this week and said he's got a good amount of cash hair. to spend, so you would like to think that if he's going to say bye to Morelos and possibly Kent, that money will be spent on those two positions, I would imagine. Right, right lads, who's going to win it on Saturday then? I think it's a draw. Do you? I genuinely think it's a draw. I think Rangers will score first. You've got to make Celtic favourites, haven't you? Celtic are favourites, yeah. no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. But I think Rangers are playing well at the moment. I tend to go with the big man. I think it could be a draw. Runners even. I think Celtic will be happy with a draw in terms of... The, I don't oh, know how to win the game. But like, if, if, Rangers, if Celtic come away from the game of the weekend unscathed, then that's it. It's, it, it, it your thing is up. But it's, it's good to have this game, but... I don't know, the fans, will the fans make a difference, Kenny, you think? Nah, I don't, listen, I, I would much rather, know the 800 fans back to the 7,000 that were in the corner. Oh, 100%. It would uh, be far better if it was no, that, but it will not make a difference. We like to say, it's still one, there's still 50 odd thousand Celtic fans there yeah. that day. I just think it creates a better atmosphere. Ah, of course, the it's usually there. the away fans that are the noisier. Aye. Aye. Yeah. When the 7,000 was there, wasn't it? Probably. What do you two think? I think Celtic, uh, I, I five no again. No, no, right, I, okay. I was a bit naive. I mean, I, you'll say this now, but when we get outside, you'll go, ah, it'll be five no seven. No, he does it every time. I always says Rangers need to win because of, no, just for the league. I think the league's done. It is done, regardless who. Even wins. if Rangers win? Ah, it's done. But if Celtic won the two of them, would it still be done? I think it would have gone Celtic would still need to lose, what? Celtic would need to lose two games, uh huh. But I think if you're getting into that semi final, Bill. And you've lost your last two games against Celtic. It, the pressure's crazy then, Si. But the pressure'll be crazy, crazy anyway. anyway no, right. but he's right. I say that as well. Let's see the uh, I'll agree with you this time, pal. I know, yeah. but even if Celtic win, the pressure still be crazy. I'm saying see if you go three, four, four five games game. as a manager. Uh-huh. I know for managing you've not got that one and you're on a three, four, five game one less one. I just think it builds pressure. Yeah. You imagine getting the end of the season. You imagine getting end of the season, they've lost they lose Saturday. They lose the league game in the split. And they lose the semi final. Rangers fans will then start to question well, what, what's going on here. That's a, that'd be, that's we've a got a manager and we can't get, we can't get, we can't beat Celtic and we're at the Cups and they've lost the league again. He's not the man to take us because that's what happened. That's just you fans. Remember the reaction after the last game? We Bill. Is that You can absolutely But, but even that. if Rangers win this and then they lose the semi final, that's the same reaction. Oh, same reaction. Aye. Yeah. Definitely. It's the set. Like, for me, if he, he, he's needing something out of these next three old farm games. Yep. But is that harsh though when he's came in it's and not, said it's, it's so rampant? Simon, is that harsh? I, I, Simon, it is mean, because that's. had one transfer window. I, I know, but. It depends how they do it. Depends how the, how the game the goes. Game. Yeah, yeah. Because this cup final was, was no good enough. I only say that in, in because of the noise that some Rangers fans are making recently. If you're looking at the, 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 the Union Bears and that, putting banners up, time for change, etc., etc. Well, that was made a bit of. Was that no, a bit I know it is, but. Who, who employs a manager? The board, so it's like, it works. It brings pressure on everybody. It brings, you know, pressure, on everybody. It brings pressure on everybody. He needs, he needs yeah. a, I don't say he particularly needs a result this weekend. It'd be amazing for him if we get a good result, a poor result. But he needs to do something regarding these next old firm games or there will be noise. And that's, look, I don't want to see any manager lose their job, but when you're at two of the biggest clubs in Scotland, there's always pressure. Mm. There'll be noise anyway, because your dad's ass is always on fire, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> 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 that's one hell of a noise, isn't it? What's <laughs> oh, <laughs> Big job, he's getting a hard time to do. No, here, I might ask you actually. No, no, no. No, it's a question. See what you asked Kenny about Rangers. I know you didn't really go, yeah, I know you didn't go and play. Selling. I'm not trying to say, slander you there because it doesn't happen. There's only some certain people that did it. Four years, they out of 17. I know, I know, I know. It's only certain people that did anyway, go and play back. Anyway, we get to the question. See, out of that team, the first team when you were at Celtic, what player would you put into Celtic's team? Worse than that. That's the obvious answer. Eh? What, a steady key over? Yeah, is the who Larson was he not? 100% Larson's Drake Yogo. That is a bad question, 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 question. question. No, but that wasn't really my team, so... <laughs> no, I had a team. Well, you never team, I don't want to say that for. Uh, nah, uh, nah, Nakamura probably wouldn't have fit in a who Ange plays, would he? No, no, he nah, wouldn't play. Good question. Was probably wouldn't have fit in, would you Would you know? To play how Ange? In, in Ange's style? Nah, probably not. Wow, it's got to be somebody. Maybe Suit McGeady. Maybe but somebody in the reserves, was there? No, oh, you're no male in there, no. 
No, I probably, mate, that's it. Do you know what? You've probably been there in terms of how, how Ange wants to play. That team, I think. You think? Instead of Jota. Instead of, Dan, um, instead of me. Neither. Oh, he's his mate as well. <laughs> I, on the ball, on it, but the way Ange wants to press off the ball. No, but you're, how, how's they're, not, they're only off the ball 25% of the time, uh, most times, true. eh? Aye. Uh, maybe Aidan, it would be. Brilliant question in the end. There's a, there's a, <laughs> the, the, there's a next note on it. There's a next note. Sorry, I don't want to read it. I'm scared to do it. Kenny Muller hit the headlines. Aye, that was the one. I don't know what to say in case you shouted it. Just before we go on, what's the worst headline you've ever read about yourself? Oh, God. 10,000 <laughs> spent. That was it. Can you remember the, act, the exact words? No, the words was Mars, I could remember. <laughs> On the front page? My arse was hanging out on the front page. Right? The sun? So Wesley Probably really... better get arse on it than your face. But the arse was sporty, I know. <laughs> I've got a few. Well, <laughs> what's the worst headline? Oh. Could it be even like a local paper? Well, that time I got a job up in the offshore. And, oh, that was bad. Uh, the what was pay... it? Can you remember the actual headline? Aye, aye. aye. Uh, 10 grand a week to 800, grand or 800 quid a week. Um, Oh, but mate, that, that's that's I would that. take 100, 100 quid a week. <laughs> because yeah. that's, that, see that, but that's horrific for whoever done that. That's, oh, that's oh, not that's on you, on, mate. That's on I know, but... Um, did you know that was good? Did you, do you know it's going to... Did you get phoned the day before? So you just walked no, into I your local, local in news somebody, agency? Uh, the, 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 that was actually working up on the thing about offshore and somebody had phoned me to say, Kev, your front page of the paper the morning. I was like, what? And then... How did they know? I don't know, and then here off this headline come out and... Did you get, did you get up early and go and buy a paper, Ken? No, I just, I thought, oh, we'll just wait and see, and then when it came out, I was, that was probably, that's probably as, as low as I've ever felt, because mm. it wasn't in a great place anyway, because I'm just, you know, giving up football, I'm giving up football and just mo decided to move on with my life, and then realise that moving on with your life wasn't normal. Mm. And you're thinking, fucking hell, I'm just like, I'm working here. Uh, you can understand that you've done something bad aye, and you're on the front page. Yeah, yeah. But then everybody, that, that, that cry of support, then to quickly change my way of thinking, I thought, I fucking lose all What's the worst headline you've ever read? A couple, when I, you look back, they're quite funny now, but after I scored five against St Mirren, B Dick was the manager. Uh, what? <laughs> 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 What's that we just done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tease you up there, you used to tease you up. He's a... Uh, and I've done the press, I'm 20 year old, I've just scored five goals in a game and we're playing Monaco in the Champions League that week and I hadn't played in any of the Champions League games. And uh, they're obviously, ah, oh, what do you think? Are you playing? I mean, and I've, whatever I've said, I've said, but we were in the hotel on the Monday night, so it was a Tuesday morning, we'll wake up and the headlines play me or I'm off. I'd only been in the building. <laughs> what was that front page or back page, Kenny? I back don't know. It might, it, might, it might have been a bit of both. See when they always have the weekend, oh, a bit the at the top. top. And I thought, oh my God, he's going to kill me. <laughs> he, 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 Dick's going to kill me. And I'm, I'm, what, twin, I'm what I'm doing. And, I'm, and obviously you've got wee Neil McCann and they're all bamming you up. Thinking, oh my God, Dick's going to, Dick, Dick will be raining. So I walked down to breakfast and you come, came down the stairs at Crillow and House and he was, the breakfast room was just there. He was just sitting in a chair just in the corner outside the room. And it, to be fair, he never said, he never said, he's been, yeah, Miller, yeah, play me or I'm off, given he's not oh, chatting. Oh. And I was, oh my God, I'm just shocked at the, <laughs> so the other one was obviously that, uh, the morning after that Celtic game, when I was getting sacked apparently, and Big Waldo was getting suspended after that Celtic oh. game. That was, and did you know, did, down you, the did you get told the day before that, that it was going to be in the pit? I got a nod late on at night, and the first question was, for what? What, what are we getting sacked for or what are we getting uh, suspended for? And it was like, I don't, I'm just, just letting you know that's going to be in. I thought, oh my God. Did you sleep that night now? Aye, I did actually, I did. But I phoned Big Waldo and I said, this is fucking, this, what's, what, what it is. I mean, we hadn't even heard anything yet. We hadn't even heard what was going on. It was, that was the first, first I knew about that. And do you, are you the type that would drive down to the paper shop and buy the paper to read it? No. No. No, because you're online and all that there at that so point, didn't you? your house the next day? No, no, what to go on. What to go on or we got a call in the morning maybe. I can't even remember what it is, because we might have been off. That's what it was. I think we were off the next day. So we went on the Tuesday. Wow. That was that was you. Have you got leathered and swindling for us? Front page of the Sunday night. Four, six, I think we got battered for We got relegated that, that that day and we went out that night, stupid. Ended up getting battered for Swindon fans, mate. <laughs> so four four stars left. But I, I think it was four stars left by black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> on team night out. Aye, that was the great That's the worst. I think the Scotland one, when I was young like you, 20 naive, papers talking to you, you just go, your mouth just fucking pulls it all the shite. And I was like, we're only playing against fishermen. That time we played the Faroe Islands. I think the headline we got drew, I we're only playing fishermen. <laughs> oh. See that when you do it, you're, see when you do it, read the paper and you're on it, it's a horrible feeling. That's the worst. Oh. Aye, the worst. 
Because you've no say, you've no meant it that way at all. But they'll take one wee bit of oh. it and make the headline that, and it's all oh. the headlines always worse, obviously. Uh, yeah. The headlines are killer, aren't they? Even when you do the radio, mate, and your t- phone starts ding, 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 and then there's like a Twitter. They've ran the story while you're still on the radio. That happened to me. Something about Lenny. I said on Go Radio, and straight away the record on the Sun and printed it on Twitter, mate, and it was like quotes, training, wasn't it? Training, and it was like. 35 retweets in like five minutes, and like, oh, oh no. Uh, where well, you said, well, I said, like, you always knew you play for Rangers again. Aye. Was that really the case, huh? Or was it just the, you, you know, that, 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 no, it was, see, that, that's, that's one of the classic things that get Aye. taken and, and mm. put out there a different way. I never, that's not what I said. I said that I always, once I left Rangers in 2001 to go to Wolves, I always had that feeling that I would be back at Ibrox one day. Like, so it wasn't, I'm, turning up at Parkhead every day thinking, oh, I'll be going across oh, the city. Yeah. That's not what it was and that's not what it was meant. It was when I left, I knew, and I actually said jokingly Alex McLeish when I was on the phone to him eventually, I said, oh, you'll be buying me back one day. And I made, I actually said that to him. But he were obviously tongue in cheek, yeah, yeah. but half serious as well. Uh-huh. But I, so that wasn't how it was meant to be. Like it was said and then because you've actually played for Celtic between those two spells, it can be. How does that make you feel you're paying your hard money to pay his wages and he's... Uh, we'll speak about it after this. <laughs> I'm not going to have that. But here, we're going to move on, Si. Relegation battle. Kelly Hearts. Well, you said you did say last right. week you thought Kelly were definitely away. Huh? No, I did. I, 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 I said, I said, that, I said uh, that, I'll be honest, I said I was worried about Kelly. And you always said, what about the home form? And I, I, in my head, I thought, aye, they've got some tough games coming up. Hearts was the, the start of the tough games. I think they've got Celtic and Rangers up before the split as well. I could end up with egg on my face here, but Del McInnes team does not get relegated. Right. I, I I would like the hope. Big shout say after they've just got a big three points. No, I've said that, mate. Rewind it. Yeah. Last no, three, four weeks. No, I've yeah. said that, oh, mate. Don't know if he has. Look, he has. But Del, mate, they'll have, they'll, they'll have bumps and bruises, but he's just the type that'll uh, he'll, he'll be quickly forgotten about and you'll get them back on track. I, I, I just didn't see a Del McInnes team getting relegated. Mm, I don't I know never, if he was committed as that as usually, but you think you maybe say that he knows... I think really I've said it. Well, no, well, committed. I, I, I think think he has. Everyone's shaking their head. The football monitor board are shaking their head. But they now have got that gap now. That was a big, big one at the oh, weekend. Yeah, huge, big one. Yeah. By the way, on the other side, it hearts starting to just falter a wee bit. I can't. I, I, honestly, I cannot make sense of this. What's happened to hearts? I can't work it. That out. weekend, I was out for the Mother's Day, and I met we Lee McLeod, and I said to him, "We're talking about hearts Aberdeen because he was an Aberdeen supporter." I said to him that day, I think I can see hearts going in a wee wobble. What, what, what was that doing to you? But what made you think that? Because I, I don't know, I, I just make sense of this. I don't know. I just hear this feeling that there's that much talk of them being third, the third best team in Scotland, but they started the season poorly, yeah. Bar injuries, they were struggling. And Andy used to tell us they had 14, 15 boys in the in injury bed. So it, it's, a, it's a reasonable enough excuse. They've come back over a period. Have they been that much better or have the rest just no got a run of form together where it's. Because when you think about it, if Hearts had been that good, as we say, as we keep saying they were, they should have been like 10, 12, 13 points but, here and third, right, they were never, they were always Fallow, closer. Hang Fallow, okay, right? They had a poor start, right? Really poor start. Injuries and European yeah, yeah. run, right? So they were sitting about 7th or 8th at one point. Aye. See now, I think it's like four out of the last five that they've lost, lost in the league. Yeah, yeah. But they're, they still are in third. Aye. You know, so the points that they've dropped, they still had a good gap there. So they, over that wee period between the European run ending and now, or four games ago, they had built up a decent lead. They're the third best team in, they are. I, I still think they are. But they're having a real wobble in Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Is Aberdeen and Aberdeen's got run. Aberdeen's, Wednesdays, not sure. Aberdeen and Hibs have had a jolt because, well, we'll go back to that game when Aberdeen played... Um, Hibs. Hibs. It was a manager to yeah. what, the two managers, whoever was going to go. Well, Hibs have improved massively since then and Aberdeen's got the kick from uh, yeah. Barry Robson coming in. And... Uh, Hearts haven't managed to be able to go on and cement third place. And they have had a bad run as well. He's still he's still missing big players, isn't he, Robbie Nielsen? Halkett's still out, the goalie's still out, Beningame is their best player, midfielder for me still out. I know, but you're saying well, the goalie. It's big misses, it's still big. You're saying the goalie. I know, but it's three big misses. still bringing misses, in a good replacement in Xander Clark. Your captain, mate. But they were, they, they, they've had these injuries all year and they were still picking points yeah. up, so that was massive. But, but you I'll should be expect be inconsistencies with the players out now. I'll be any consolation to the fans, but if they don't get third, who's been out in it, they'll just be... Oh, they'll want them out, I have no doubt. I think if I did in the first oh, well, half, I've seen it. Huh? There's graffiti on the, on the club crest outside the stadium, Nielsen out. It's like, incredible. That's, that is, yeah, that's, that's incredible. mental, mate. Well, we had that fans forum that night and one of the fans, the, the Hearts fans guy was, was very critical of Robbie. For just, what though? But for oh, what? I know. I don't know. What, 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 what I would ask is, what is it you're after? Well, there you go. That's it. What is it you're after? It's finished. Third, 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 surely. Aye. 
Third Success. and opportunities to win cups, which they were in a cup final right. last year. Yeah. Took Rangers to extra time. Ultimately, get beat with the better team over the piece. I know it's um, it's uh, I don't know. I can't. I, I don't know why to be too critical of, of, of fans and stuff because they're a good time at Hearts, but I feel that some of the 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 negativity is unjust sometimes. Teams do lose games of football. Yeah. Sometimes like Hearts, what, 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 Hearts would always lose a game, and then we go in a run or two or three. But just because it's been four out of five, it makes it look like oh, it's at this time as well, right? because Aye. this is where like, if you go there at the start of the season, like like they weren't in great form, they always had that time, and I think everybody believed that they would come good, injuries yeah. would come back, the European run would be done, and then you would see them, and it's actually how it went, and they had built up a decent yep. lead in third. It's just been eaten away in the last four games, five games now by Aberdeen because they've had, was that four wins in a row that they've had? Yeah. Yep. So they've, when they've won one out of five or lost four out of five, Aberdeen have won four at the last four. So now that like gap's four gone. Six or seven yeah, or seven. Man getting there. By the way, nobody beats Levy 3 nothing. That was a massive result of the Wanker. weekend in that chase for that top six. Yeah. Massive. But could, could, could St. Mern challenge a third? No. Nah. No, 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 for third. No, 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 I just I just don't like who do you, who do you, if they get top six it's yeah. brilliant who do you think finishes third now See, really, I think Aberdeen do it do you Kev I I still think Hearts nah, I think I think Hearts have got a better you know what, I, I don't know I'm going to go with Aberdeen with you Kev I think I. Aberdeen are going to do it yeah I mean the surprises are here a bit because I'm looking at like look we've got three fixtures before the split yeah. is it three form and momentum uh, and I think Hearts and Hibs have got one of them that's going to be a massive game yeah that is it's in two weeks time two weeks time Hibs, Hibs beat Hearts mm. Hopefully not. That's a gap closed. And then Aberdeen might just win their game and then they, they, before you know it. And yeah, then, Rangers and then a couple of weeks as well. Aye. It? So it all depends on the fixtures. But ultimately, it makes it interesting for third and it makes it interesting for sixth because you've you know, got um, St Mirren and Livy. Yep. Looks like Livy will drop it Hibs. again at the end. Hibs as well now. Right. Livy again, maybe in the top six all year and it looks like they're going to drop I, it I, again. I, I, think Livy will, I think Livy would nick it ahead of St Mirren. That was yeah. a big game at the weekend. St Mirren will get ahead of St Mirren? Aye. Did he I'm going to check fixtures. I want to see. You. Probably should have done that before you came I know, on here. But but it's fine. You, I, I, think, I, you, I thought. I thought. I thought the host would have had them up just in case for backup. But <laughs> he hasn't. I think some men will do it. Say. So do I think some men will do it. I think it's still only a good play, a good run at all. I think they got. A, was it a win last before that? The last break, maybe. But before that, they were struggling. Great yeah. finish for Tony Watt. Brilliant. So hearts, hearts, and men. Fire power up there. Fire yes. power up there, which is so important. So I'm surprised at that. Right, come on, what want it? Hibs and Motherwell. It's got to be Motherwell, aye. Mate, I can't even... What I, a job he's done, it. Brilliant. It's incredible, that mate, isn't it? Sensational for where they were. I mean, I, we, we, I remember watching them via Aberdeen. Um, What's that? Four wins, one draw, one defeat? Top six? That is too much, aye. Is it? I feel like if they maintain this form... Six, six, six or seven points, isn't it? No, they're not there that there. No chance. No, nah, it's, it's a lot. It's about three games to go. And Hibs have been on a good run, haven't they? To go there and win three wins... Yep. Hell a couple of good all. goals, I mean, Gossie's free kick. Oh, was, it two, was, it was two free kicks, wasn't it? Yeah, Van Veen. Three kicks, side. incredible, the left foot of yeah, Gossie. Yeah, wow. Masha should probably say yeah. the second free second kick. Second one's a bit. I'm, yeah. I, I don't know what to be goalkeeping, but I'm thinking that's too far yeah. out on Did the you angle. Your wife and son are goalies. I know, but. Hey. <laughs> I sure know much. You should be an expert on this stuff. <laughs> I just think that's too far out. On the, if it's if it's in the middle of the goal, I can understand. But when you're on an angle, yeah, there's not many places he's going to be able to go. And I just think maybe they dip just in front of the goal. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was going to see there was a wee deflection, whatever. But but the first one was Goss has got that in his locker. He scored that. I think that was his was his only goal for Rangers. Was pretty much identical to that. Well, was he a good player? Better. Kenny, he's a good footballer. Technically good, isn't he? Really good footballer. Uh -huh. yeah. Went to QPR on it. QPR, yeah. He was Man United, then obviously went to QPR. Came up to Motherwell. Kevin has got a great header. Great header. He's a good header of the ball, that yeah. boy. Yes, he yes. actually missed one before it as well. He had he a good did. chance. He hit it straight, didn't he? Should he never got it back across. across. Yeah. What did you think of the, uh, the game? Big Marston had the best day. Right, right. no, but what, give us something that we've well, noticed. Well, he made the penalty. Gives away the penalty and then I think he's got to save it. And I, I, do you think it is a penalty? <laughs> well, just remind us what happens again. No, say seriously. That is <laughs> <laughs> Just, just talk us to the penalty incident, please. Can you just talk? I know what the modern day knows what you want to talk about. Is that a penalty? These are ones I would keep handball. So you think that's handball? It's no handball. But Big Marcy's obviously gave the the pen and then it comes under. I was going to ask you, was ever a chink at an outfield player's got the right to go a goalkeeper first, no saving a penalty? No. Somebody ever got him? No, I'm just wondering though because no, but it's one of them. It's, he's gone all the way to save it, and it goes closer Unfair. to him than what he thinks. Is is unlucky. He's really unlucky to be fair. But For twelve uh, yards, he shouldn't really be saving it, no. should he? No. No, he shouldn't have really been, he shouldn't have really been chasing the boy for the penalty in the first place. He had a bit of head loss that his goalkeepers sometimes do, and uh, 
I don't know. I think, like, see, see me Mother, Motherwell. That's where you can get at Motherwell. See good balls out the box. I don't think they defend good crosses well. Kevin Nisbet's had two chances, two really good chances. Took one and... Standing on his own. Aye. Uh, easy to pull away. Get that yard and... But the have had that in them this year. I mean, I've had, like, looks like a couple of times they thought they've cracked it and it looks like they're going to be a challenger and then they fell short against uh, aye, you're absolutely maybe a game where you expect, particularly at home, you expect them to win. But Motherwell, brilliant form. Short kettle again. He just keeps that bandwagon going at the moment. Just mm. keeps keep rolling on. When's me and Andy's top wings challenge and he's not? This is the best Cut view in history. Oh, what, are you in Andy's? Uh, oh, mate. It's, Andy, back, it's back to the really hot one at the end. Is yeah. Andy hopeless? I mean, he, oh, his eyes are red raw for the first round. <laughs> he hates spicy food, so I don't know why he's agreed to me. But the he's questions so were bizarre, weren't they? Uh, your questions were weird, mate. That was a fucking stranger. Uh, Kenny played on Marsh at Cardiff. Top Tom Heaton was there as well. Who was better? Simple question. At the time, Marsh, aye. Was he better than Ian? Wow. He never got a game. Bungles are, he's called Bungle. He's called uh, Tom Heaton. He's called that first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bungle? I don't know. Bungle. Right, so so it was, uh, like, must have been Jordan. Rainbow, big bungle. No, but he, no, he was very, very good. But he was, he was young at the time. He was young. Marsh had been there also a few years. Marsh was good goal. Marsh was a good goalie, good, wasn't good he? Goalkeeper, yeah. uh, when Marsh was first came into the Celtic team, I thought he'd be like the Celtic goalie for the next twenty years. He was yeah. exceptional when he was at nineteen. I can't remember Barcelona. Remember Barcelona uh, wow, man, that was unbelievable. Were you there at the time, eh? Hey, did you travel with hey, Barcelona? Hey. Hey, did you? You were sitting in the house when I was in Barcelona. <laughs> did you no, travel? Okay. Uh, Lee Johnson was on the touchline. He's got a ban. He, you've experienced Aye. that. Have you experienced that with the manager? Like to sit in the stand. The best ones was Walter Smith, and he's like, "Ah, did you rant? Fucking get in there." <laughs> so I was the I don't know, actually an event with Durant. He was telling that story there that, he, that the gaffer had slapped him and was told him he get doing, and the camera catches it. Yeah. Uh, sensational. What was he so angry? At? Did Durant say? No, he did say. I can't remember what, he, what the story. He told that many stories that night. It was. Uh, I can't remember, but it was. It was something was going on, and he had to. He was up and down, and he was up and down, and I think he took a right. That day. Did you feel any difference that. when Walter Smith wasn't on the touchline? Were you a wee bit more relaxed? No, but I think the gaffer sometimes, he sat up for first half like quite a lot. It's not as if it was a banner, he, he would sit up and he would just watch the game and then like, maybe come down during the half, maybe come down at half time, I'm not too sure. But no, I never, no, I never really felt too much of a difference. I know some people might, but I never, no. Uh -huh. You've ever had that manager like to sit in the stand? No. Nah. Like I don't get him too often. a few that. managers that I wish they were in the fucking stand. <laughs> They've been better off up there. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that. Um, I don't think that would ever be a hang now. Nah. What? A manager understand. I know Lee, Lee Jones was, was he suspended. Yeah. I, I suspended. That. I don't think a manager would do it. See, like Walter Smith did it, and Ali McCoy still sometimes would just touch yeah, yeah. I don't think a, would you think a manager would do that now. I don't know. Sometimes there is, there is a benefit to it in you terms of like you can see the game, game. you can see I think they'll have somebody up there though now, don't they? They'll have nah, somebody yeah. on the earpiece that will not be directly to the manager, but maybe to the assistant or the coach if they've seen things, but it needs to be somebody that knows what they're talking about, because I've been in a few situations where there's messages come down, I've who's who said that? And he's went, so-and-so says, I went, tell him to shut the fuck up. Is that the same? Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that the same you know, when you went up for a prune hill and you were sitting the message down? He was, he done it to me, he was, he was up there at the weekend, didn't you? Aye. You were better to get a good vantage view. I noticed one hanging for the full 90 minutes, wasn't it? Uh, one hanging in Texas. I do think they were playing a diamond. <laughs> You're just too busy watching the game, aren't you? <laughs> He's just watching the game, not even interested in what's going on. The one I've been desperate to come on the day was the Legends game you were involved in. How did it go? Brilliant. Was it? Bought a day. Right, who, was, who was brilliant for Rangers and who was brilliant for the World XI? Van Persie. Van Persie was a joke, mate. Who said that? Who said that? Were you there? I watched the highlights. Van Persie, like, but he still, he could still play. Right. Uh, Jack Walsh. Mm. I mean, he's still young to be fair, though. Jack's, mate, was he 31, 32? Oh. So he could still play. So he, he ran a bit of a mock. Uh, I'll tell you he was in Great Nick, Yap Stam. Was he? Centre, centre, yep, back he played. He was in Great Nick. Big Clarny uh, Dutchman. Huge. He was uh, I mean, still a really good player by You could tell he wanted to learn as well. Is he serious? He's, uh, uh, he's track the runners. Look, he's had uh, the right hand side of him, he had uh, Michael Dawson, who was in Good Nick. But he had a shocker, mate. The left hand side was excited. Robert Huth. Big Huth. So he's, again, he's actually in decent Nick as well. So that and were a good team. It was good for us. We had Sasa. Sasa's in good nick. Uh, somebody says Sass Papach was Rangers' best player. Sasa right? was second best. And he's, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, he was second best. Yeah. Who was best? Oh, I was, I was oh, yeah. best. Oh, you were you good, Ken? Eh? Nah, I was all right. I blew up my car right after 18 minutes. Nah. No? Nah, no goals. Uh, Defoe's finish was a joke. Was it? Oh, it was good. Uh. When was, I mean, Defoe's making, he's only finished playing as well. So What's Defoe good. like with the tap Still after trying that? Yeah. Hutz, Hutz, done, Hutz was good. Hutz done well for, for us. Uh, Boy, do you like Sharp? Boy, he got his goal though. I know he's got his goal. Aye, he scored the first one, but then he turns and smashes the hard one in. 
Uh, who else was in? Pedro. Right. Pedro Mendes. Good. Oh, mate, he Pedro looked like Mendes he was spray canning it. Uh, Fergie, Fergie played, no? Fergie played as well. Uh, is he yep. good? Fergie's still in good nick as well. Uh. Was he, he still, still won good, it? Uh, uh, he, was, he was actually alright. Uh, he was, was alright. Uh, he wasn't chill, but he was alright. But no, we had, we had, it was a good game. Brilliant fun. I mean, they had some really good players. And Bo Morty was in good nick. He uh, came uh, on. He scored uh, a belter, actually, didn't he? Oh, it was, yeah, it was goal of the game. Uh, uh, brilliant goal. Uh, Van Persie scored two and Wilshire scored one. Who else was? Did Van Pers- Did you see Van Persie's overhead kick? No. Uh, what an effort! That he was. could still play. Uh-huh. He could still play definitely. But it was good fun. Good to be back playing. I mean, I think it was about thirty thousand there as well. After it, back at the hotel. Back at the hotel was it? Played at the house. All the boys well, were staying there. Yeah. All the world guys were there as well. So no, it was good. Did you get good any day. good laugh? Uh, no. Uh, no. Serious. I, I, to be fair, I never stayed long after. Apparently, they were on the karaoke to all, all over some of the boys, but it was good. Who was the manager, Kenny? McLeish and Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman were up. So it was. They McManaman were. played against us. Did he? Uh-huh. He's still in good nick as well, mate. Yeah. He played in the Masters a few months back. He was he was decent in that as well. Eh? Do you not get a chance for the Legends now? Nah? Well, for the Rangers Legends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't that's get a Legends. That's the best week of the year. Is the best week of the year. Is the player still, is the ones that have left the, the tour, are they still playing play in the Masters? Aye. Oh, that's good. Aye. Because golf became rubbish, innit? I know you were, th- I know you were relating that to golf. I know you were doing that then. Was, well, you, stu- you were sure that the game's hard, Harry. <laughs> Rangers asked you to be a steward. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Downing down was good as well. Listen, if the Rangers had asked me, I would have politely said, no, there's proper legends, unlike just taking the invite and going with it. <laughs> I'm not surprised, though, you've not. I'm surprised you've not been asked to you. I'd had a wee bit more respect for my peers before me. No, but I'm, I'm surprised you, Rangers haven't asked you, mate. I can't even think why they wouldn't have asked you. Can you? No. I'm surprised they haven't asked you. Yeah. You're really Listen, good. I was there at the beginning of the journey. Right, I helped them. Everybody played their part. Everybody right? played their uh, part. That guy goal, that, that goal against Peter Head at Ibrox, that meant something. I live long in the memory for it the Rangers ones. No forget. Well I'm playing this window in a couple of weeks. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Johnny matches. What, what, are you putting yourself in the shop window or something? <laughs> Try to get a job. <laughs> Try to get a job. Do you play charity matches every week? <laughs> you know, Frank McAvey. Try to get a manager. <laughs> manager's job for a charity, for a charity team. <laughs> Who do you need this one to make him on Keys a big name? Okay, this is a, a range and it's for I'm diabetes. His daughter's got diabetes. You want to laugh about kids getting diabetes in? Oh, it's up to you, mate. But we're playing for... Colin Calder, we're playing for his kid. Who? For his kid. What other spin than that as well, eh? Big uh, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, what do you call him? Ward, no. He played with... I don't know if you ever heard him. Matt Ritchie. He's playing... Uh, Matt Ritchie? Uh, Charlie yeah. Austin, I don't know if you've played it. Uh, I know his brother, my boss. He's played the Premier League. Uh, hi, there's a few legends going, mate. Anybody, who's, who's, they're, who, just, they're just normal people to me. They're, oh, they're, big, they're legends to you, but they're just normal yeah. people to me. But big, Please admire these no. guys, but they're just pals to me. But big TV he's playing. Who are you playing? Who are you playing? Who's <laughs> Swindon playing? We're on uh, Dave's side. Combination Street. <laughs> <laughs> the cast of Corey. We're playing the cast of Corey. <laughs> big Fred the Butcher and Goals. <laughs> Do you know uh, who are you playing? I don't know who they're playing. I'm not too sure. Is it just a fans eleven or something? Jonathan Wilkes is he stays in there. Do you know Robbie Williams is best pal? Oh, see so he hung a bit with him, it was embarrassing. It was like a bad smell, wasn't it? Oh mate. Uh, Leave he's up my his ass. <laughs> um who would have won Celtic Legends against Kenny's Rangers Legends team? We would have won. Jank. Then he's had good legs. There's good Ledley legs in that team. There's good Ledley legs. Good I was going to say Mailer, but play. you told me he wasn't moving too well. Really disappointed. Daz will Nailer, be able to move well. Daz is still no bad. Really disappointed in Lee Nailer. Aye. I think he'd not seen a ball. It was days cutting up. Oh, is he? Uh, uh, no, Naylor was very poor, mate. Yeah. Uh, surprised how po- just at how poor he was. Who was in the midfield? Oh. Cross ass Ledley. Petrov is exceptional. Well, Stan playing was there. See, when you Petrov rattled off your Rangers legends, that, that was legends. Like, Ooh, did I think Stan Petrov was a legend, that? Cross ass. Cross ass. Played at Barcelona. Very. Who did? Cross-ass. Celtic legends. Played with Barcelona. <laughs> B. Joe Ledley's been at a semi final of Euro. If you think that's yeah. a legend, then that's up to you. Well, the one who's in close I'm back with my teammates. Close Brendan Rodgers sacked for Leicester. I thought of legends. Celtic yeah, legends. Potter sacked for Chelsea. Oh. Unbelievable. Is he sacked? Ah, he's gone last night, oh mate. My God. Beatles have spot up as well, you know that? Who? <laughs> about time, by the way. About time. I, 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 what, about it. time or what? Mate, did you watch the Aston Villa game? No. Battered Aston Villa. Who, Potter? Chelsea's Potter. T- no, you'd have got that right, mate. He was one of like the top f- the top five in terms of like oh, salaries in his in in world football. Man, what a pay off ass! Yeah, incredible. He'll get himself back to the top. Graham Potter. Aye, no straight doubt. in. He was straight linked with Leicester, isn't he? Is he linked with Leicester? Straight away linked with Leicester. No brainer for Leicester. You would Aye. take Potter in a minute, wouldn't you? Probably. Would Potter take Leicester? Postecoglou was in for Leicester as well. Huh? So I'm just saying. 
Just saying. No. <laughs> where do you see? No. Where, where do you see Rogers going next? I think I could see him being an international manager now, no? Oh. I don't know. That's not a bad shit. So, but I, I reckon he'll get back in the summer. In the, in the Premier League? Him. I don't know. Celtic Legends know. manager, isn't it? <laughs> He's assistant. <laughs> There's a job at Bloom Hill. Uh, I think you'll stay Premier League, don't I? I don't know. I'm looking at thinking what's your name? Never pulled Leicester. He won the FA Cup last time. He got him to aye, two fifth consecutive no, finishes. No, spent any money at all. Aye, aye, I, I would like to see what they think doing doing there of him. Like, I genuinely believe that on the Leicester thing, he he hasn't had a lot of money to spend this year. They've had nothing, yeah, nothing, nothing. So there's nothing, a reason aye. why. So he is still a good manager. So he's, he a, will. He's, he's a one of the. Can we think a better British manager? Good than Rogers. Over the last well, Moyes would Moyes be? Moyes will be right up there, aye. But I think. Is the job he's done at Leicester? What they say in their statement, he's taken with two of their top three finishes. Obviously, the other one was the one that was winning the league, won the first FA Cup ever. They were so close yeah. to Champions League, eh, no Champions League, a European semi final. Yeah. Was that last year? Like, he's ticked all the boxes, you know, he's had no money to spend, no way to compete the way he had been competing before. I know, definitely. through his coaching, put them there as well, you know, and now it's just it was. The players that he lost, again, players that he's potentially going to yeah. lose, guys that are out of contract and things, it's just no quite word. But for me, he's no. right up there. Uh, right up there. Did you still email him? No, he's no get back to his. Messing what up. was the last email you sent him that he never got sent back? Him who's who's gonna be who's gonna be Chelsea manager then? I think the boy from Brighton's got a chance. <laughs> oh deserve him, mate. Wow. Hey, hey, there was shouts of that three weeks ago oh, when it was under pressure that the guy who he's and put a back into Brighton. In, no, I don't. Brighton fans booed him last game, which is fucking mental. But uh, yeah. I couldn't, can't see him going. It'd be back interesting turning events that if Deserby then oh, Chelsea right. came for. I spoke Deserby. to a few of the Brighton boys. They said that that Deserby's outstanding in a different level. Who is it you spoke to? Can't remember. I know who, who did you, it was you that spoke to. Him. I'm just kidding. It was me. <laughs> who? who was it again? I, I don't know. You know? No. Somebody he used to be that. telling stories to each other again. Somebody didn't say that. Saying that saying it was last week. Somebody said that. You've only need to look out of the point to tell his story, didn't you? Outstanding. Yeah. Right. No, he's outstanding. But anything else you want to cover before we go? Uh, you who you want back next week, Kenny or Andy? Kenny, what? definitely. Prefer Kenny then, right? What's he's talking about? <laughs> Andy knows his stuff. Huh? No, Andy does know his stuff. Andy's very articulate. Um yeah. No, I'll get the both of them on. But sure. Who you want? Who you ah, want? Okay, I'm okay. Oh, I'm Kenny, how do you think about Easter started? Sunday, so could be a bit rough on oh. Monday. Oh, so <laughs> fragile, my man, fragile. But well, he's done for Easter Sunday just because we're not seeing you before it. Well, so, nah. she said to me, you, you better not think about going out, so I'm going out. I thought you were going to the Sunnah. So you heard it here first. You're going to the Sunnah? I'm going to the You'll be back. Big Boobsy. Boobsy will be back. Big Boobsy will be back. What about you, Ken? What did you do for Easter Sunday? Oh, not much. Nah, no, we don't do much. My girl thinks she's dancing. She, she dances all the time, dance comps. I'm sure they're dancing next week. Right. What about you? You've got something on. We're going to. We've got a meal booked. Good for you, mate. Shocks, no? Uh, it might come to shocks, actually. Uh, <laughs> what a place. Shocks. It's been an absolute pleasure. Set your glasses on that. It's just. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, wait, I'm top, what's the guy in Top Gun? Tom Cruise. No, the other one. What's he called? <laughs> the guy that cl the plane crashes, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like I'm <laughs> after that. <laughs> Aftermath. Tom Cruise after the accident. Uh. Are you sitting there, Stevie? Hi. Hi. Give us a wee line for top, Top Gun. Eh. Uh, I've not I've seen Top Gun. I've seen Top Gun. I've no, I, I, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see a line for it, but I've not seen it, boys. How am I looking though before we end it? Anyway, um, any other look the part, right? Any lookalikes before we go? I'm just going to sit down at the space, so if you want to see any before the camera runs it. Come on, there you are. Nah, it's no lookalikes, no idea. No. Nah, good. Boys, thank you for Well done, guys. Well done. Brilliant, boys. <laughs>